What's gonna happen next? Welcome to Ride Buddies, the series where we ride rides and talk tech. I'm Kirk from HPE, and today we are thrilled to be joined by Sarah from Walt Disney World Resort. This is exciting because I get to be with someone who knows a little bit more than the average person about Expedition Everest, legend of the Forbidden Mountain attraction here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. So tell me, Kirk, are you ready to experience the thrill all over again? <laughs> as ready as I'll ever be. Did you know that this attraction is 199 and a half feet tall? And a half. Yeah, it's the tallest mountain here in Florida. That's my favorite part of this <laughs> ride. Here's another fun fact for you. This is actually the first roller coaster at any Disney park to switch directions mid-ride. I love how this ride starts out so calm and it's unassuming, unexpected, like you don't know what's about to happen. Uh -oh. Okay, this is it. This, this is, is a big hill. Ooh, cool. Okay, let's go backwards. Dun, dun, yeah. dun, dun, dun. Feel the clicking of the chain yeah. lift, like pulling you up one by one. What about the tech that goes into Expedition Everest? You know, Expedition Everest is so technologically advanced that this was actually the first attraction at Walt Disney World to have something called a digital twin. I love <laughs> a good digital <laughs> twin. I didn't know that we are going to start moving backwards, and I guessed <laughs> this is the point. Yeah, well, actually, the cool thing is we have a virtual copy of the ride that acts like this real one and takes in real data from this ride. It helps us ride engineers check data remotely and even test improvements in a computer before we make changes to the actual ride itself. I think guests forget or never think about how much goes into creating this expedition. Absolutely. So there's so much research involved and knowledge and collaboration to make this attraction come to life. Whoa! Wow. <sighs> <sighs> well, for me, 10 out of 10 would do again. I gotta agree with you there, Kirk. <laughs>